Hello, I'm Sophia Lou and welcome to my channel. Hello guys and welcome to my review of the M106K Professional Drawing Tablet by Goman. This tablet was sent to me by Goman to review for you guys uh, since I've done uh, quite a bit of digital drawing in the past. They wanted to see what my thoughts were of the tablet, give you guys my opinion. Please note that this is not a paid review. They sent me this tablet to give my reviews to you guys so that you get, can get an honest opinion of someone who's used a fair few drawing tablets in the past. Now my experience with drawing tablets, I have used a few very cheap ones in the past that weren't very good and in the end I settled for a Wacom Intuos 4 which I have used for absolute years and when they sent me this tablet I didn't know what to think at first and my only way of comparing it would be compare it to my Intuos 4. Now the price of this tablet is the same price as my Intuos 4 pen which when you put it in perspective, it's a fairly cheap tablet. It's 70, it's uh, regular retail price is 70 pounds, uh, but I have a 30% off code for you that you can use on any Amazon affiliated store. The links will be down below. And at the moment, this tablet goes for 62.99 on Amazon UK. Um, so how did it compare? Now, a lot of people will say you can't compare it. I am going to compare it because this tablet was actually really good and really easy to use. The reason why I'm going to compare it to my Intuos 4 is because it's something that I've always used. I've used my Intuos 4 now for nearly six years. And if I was going to go for a tablet for my first time, this would be a tablet I would go for, the Gorman. It was so nice and just so easy to use. I was actually pleasantly surprised because my first thoughts when I got it was, oh, this box is really nice and it's got extra nibs and the pen is a rechargeable pen. Um, it didn't have an eraser on the end, which I was um, a little bit concerned about at first, but the buttons on the side, you can actually change that from being an eraser or to being your actual pen. Um, so it was very simple to use. It has buttons on the side which you uh, has select commands to it uh, which can make the brush bigger, change layer, copy and paste. Um, very simple commands which are very easy to set up and very easy to use even though the buttons did confuse me but I'll get to that later. Um, when I started using this tablet, straight away it felt like my Intuos. It was just so smooth, easy to use. Um, it was easy for me to be able to set up the screen as I would. And it's actually, this uh, screen section on this is much bigger than my Intuos. So this is my Intuos 4. Um, and as you can see, these tablets are exactly the same size. You can see my Intuos 4 is very loved. I've had it for nearly seven years. Um, and straight away, you can see that the drawing area is much bigger. And you can see that both uh, the Intuos 4 and the Goman tablet have these button strips on the side. Uh, the thing that the Intuos 4 has that the Goman doesn't is uh, the circle section there. You can use that to rotate through your layers and actually rotate the screen itself. But that's not a big thing in all honesty. Um, you can easily do that through commands and I often forget that I actually have that circle button and end up using the rotate tool anyway. Um, but I was just so pleasantly surprised when using it um, because I've used a lot of uh, cheaper range tablets in the past and I've not had great success. Um, I actually had a bamboo fun tablet before I got my Intuos 4 and I absolutely loved that until the tablet completely died and I had to invest in a newer tablet. Um, so price range, roughly, this would be roughly about, about the same price. I think it's a little bit more than a bamboo fun. But as a professional grade tablet, it's actually fantastic. Um, it's very, like, the brush was very easy to use. Uh, let's say the brush, the pen was very easy to use. As you can see, that nib, um, they've even given you extra nibs in case you wear this down, because uh, it depends on how hard you press to how quickly the nib will wear down. That's the buttons on the side, and I think the lower button is the one where you can trigger it to go to a razor, and then the right click one, uh, you can change the size of it, which was 
really simple and very easy to use and if you're like me and don't you like to keep on clicking the release at all it's so much easier. So actually using the tablet the first thing I did was I checked the pressure sensitivity and the pressure sensitivity I like to adjust anyway um, just so that it's easier for me by going to my brushes and changing the shape dynamics and changing the brush presets to suit me. In case you're wondering what software I'm using I'm using uh, Photoshop CES 6 um, uh, but this Photoshop does have a few <laughs> issues with it just because it needs to be reinstalled um, so if you see error messages popping up it's nothing to do with the tablet it's actually to do with the software that we're using and the one thing I really enjoyed was the um, how smooth my lines seem to come out now I don't use a line stabilizer um, I don't actually really like using them I like when lines come out a little bit wobbly but it was just for some reason it was just so smooth and easy to use and it was quite a steady hand um, and like being able to erase was very simple. The buttons did confuse me on the side because each one of them has a different command to them. Um, in my Intuos 4 it has it labelled out when it lights up, it has it labelled out what button does what and I think once you get used to it it'd be absolutely fine and you'll be able to remember the commands um, but at first I did get very confused by what did what um, but even after a quick read of the instructions I still kept on clicking the wrong button <laughs> and that's just because I'm a silly um, so what would I give this tablet? if you are looking for a first time tablet or if you're looking for a professional grade tablet uh, without having to spend a massive amount of money this is the tablet for you and considering it's got a 30% off code as well which finishes on the 31st of October um, I do recommend getting it especially if you've not done digital drawing before and you've considered uh, trying it out I do recommend it completely um, I am going to be keeping this tablet and I definitely will be using it um, especially considering uh, it's just it's just so it's just it was it was just really nice to use I can't express that enough um, I, the, it was considering how affordable it is it's just so much easier to use and the driver was very easy to download like literally you go to the website and there's a driver section there and you can just download it straight away um, so it was easy to install as well so this is what I produced uh, using the Garmin tablet, um, it is just a sticker design for my Halo scene, um, which I really enjoyed doing and I was, uh, I thought using this tablet was just an absolute lot of, it was just, it was for a professional, um, for a cheap professional tablet, it didn't feel like a cheap tablet and I think that's what's very important, it didn't feel cheap. Hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Make sure to check out the tablet if you're interested and use the discount code as listed below. Thank you all for watching. Maybe like, comment and subscribe. And as always, folks, stay creative.